Behind us, we have a 1965 Oliver 1950 that's been modified as a pulling tractor. The tractor originally came from a town in Kentucky, from uh, in Adairville. It, we originally built it back in 2003. We used to run a turbo on it, then we switched it back to a natural aspirated engine like it was and run this new class that we're running with it now. Well, me and my brother, we both saved up our money and uh, we wanted to build a pulling tractor. My dad thought this would be a good start for us, so we put our money together and went and bought a 1950 Oliver because my grandpa actually bought one of these things back in 1970 and he still has it and farms with it today and that's where basically our love for 1950 Olivers came from with the Detroit Motors because of him. And we had to do a complete total engine overhaul on it. All the, we had to do work on the sheet metal, uh, some transmission work. I mean, it was in it was in real bad shape. We've been pulling it, like I said, since 2003. We probably average roughly 20 hooks a year with it. So it's been down the track several times. Actually, me and my brother just won the uh, 2018 points championship with the pulling organization we run with KITPA down here in Kentucky in our class. So Detroit Diesel had their uh, 80th anniversary last year, and they invited us to bring the tractor up and actually display it for their 80th anniversary at the Detroit Diesel plant in Detroit, Michigan. So that was a pretty neat thing. It was like a little vintage vehicle show. But other than that, I mean, it's, we just use it for pulling, you know, pulling competitions. The class we run, it's uh, 7,000 pounds. Uh, it's a 410 cubic inch limit on the engines. But like I said, these Detroits are 212, so we're way under the cube limit. Uh, naturally aspirated, you can't have a turbocharger. It's fun to drive and the crowd at the pools likes it. It's a crowd favorite. 